What's going on? Welcome back to the Vendetta Sports Fantasy Show. Today is July 30th. We have a uh, the normal-ish crew. Alex Chick, Scott Logish, Chad Bauman. We have any opening remarks today? I know uh, Alex is stuffing his face right now. Yeah, uh, I was hungry, man. I, you got to get – when you're in Texas, you got to get a water burger. So. I mean, I, I have a little bit of announcement. Like – I'm exhausted. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm exhausted. We Chad, we had a long night of drinking after the draft, and I still have not recovered. I'm still a little <laughs> behind. Is that what happens when you get older? It's just like you just don't recover, and it's just like uh, I don't know I don't, what happened to me. I'm always tired, so it doesn't really. I feel that on a personal level, really. That's like a spiritual <laughs> thing for me. It's Waking like, up at five, it's just I'm, – I'm exhausted. It, it's a lot to keep up with you guys, you know? Keeping you guys I in got, line. It's tiring. I got eight hours of sleep last night, and I'm still ready to go back to bed. <laughs> it, re- it really be like that. It's like no matter – like I feel better off at three hours of sleep than I do eight hours of sleep on God. It's just like – what the fuck? All I right. So uh, I don't know. These team Snapchat things, how do you get rid of them? I need to get rid of those. I get I get team the, the Snapchat that, notifications. Dude, I, I don't think you I can. Have no fucking, I think you just got to delete the app. You just got to delete the app. You delete, <laughs> you delete the app and that the fucking notifications still come through. It's like, yeah, you know, you got a Snapchat from team Snapchat. You, what the fuck? Go, go into your settings on your phone and just turn off the notifications of Snapchat. They're the worst. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the fantasy show here. We are going to have a uh, different – episode because the idea behind this is you know what can you expect your team maybe to look like if you have your draft so uh we're going to examine the rosters in my league that we just had chad is a part of that hopefully maybe scott or alex will be part of it next year but uh we'll hand out draft grades for that and uh but first we will talk about three players who opted out of the nfl season Obviously, anytime somebody opts out, it has implications in fantasy. So, let's start with Devin Funches. Chad, let's go to you. Do you have any thoughts? Is there a winner or a loser to him opting out? I mean, I guess the only loser is Devin Funches. I don't know. Like, it's – I don't think he's – I don't even know where he plays right now. Is it, He's in Chicago? Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not right missing division. <laughs> They're not missing him. It doesn't matter if he played or not. Scott, like if if, uh, if Green right. Bay if Green Bay went zero and sixteen next year, we're not going to be like, well, fuck, they'd have won some games if they have Devin Funches on the ro- on the roster. So, I, I'm not- <laughs> Scott, yeah, Scott, all right. Um, from a fantasy perspective, the only loser is Devin Funches, but from a realistic perspective, the big loser is the Green Bay front office because they didn't draft a single receiver and they were fucking banking on Devin Funches to work out. And also Aaron Rodgers is a big loser because they're basically running back the same wide receiver course last year, which is Devontae Adams and who? No one else. They lost Jimmy Graham. He wasn't great anyway. So it's back to Devontae Adams and just a bunch of guys. I think the real winner here, guys, is my uh, – who the fuck is that guy from, like – I think it was, like, the first couple weeks. It was um, Jake Kumaro. That's what uh, I was going to say. But <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, he's, he's going to benefit from it somehow, some way. He'll get some punches in there. But, really, there's not a lot of winners in this. Uh, you could say the winner was Devontae Adams, but he was already going to get his – he was going to get his uh, – he was going to get his meal, basically. He was going to – that doesn't really affect him anyway because he was the number one. Um, other than that – I agree with Scott. The loser is the Green Bay front office. You know, Aaron Rodgers is like, hey, I need some wide receivers. Don't draft a wide receiver. And then they get Devin Punches, and he's opted out. So it's like you could – the more that Aaron Rodgers doesn't have a wide receiver, I feel like the rift between Aaron Rodgers and that front office is just going to grow. I was going to say, I think there's a chance Devin Funches is a winner because if he gets cut, he gets nothing. Now he gets 150 grand. So oh, maybe he didn't right. think he was going to make the roster. I, I don't know about that. He, he's he's decent. He's not. Yeah. I right. wouldn't but, say he's uh, my receiver three or anything. But you know, Equinemia St. Brown and uh, Marcus Valdez Scantling. I didn't yeah. hear a word you just said. Hold on, what? 
What was the first name? That was, that name was man. You gotta practice these because I could not be an announcer and say these names. Equinemius Saint Brown. God bless Mar- you, Marquez Valdez. <laughs> they could yep. be winners. I had Saint Brown in fantasy last year, and like a bum, he got fucking injured. Yeah. So Ooh, wasn't that in the game in Canada? He got injured. I don't know. What a bum! I he, got, he got injured. He was he was supposed to be like one of my deep sleepers, and then was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna get hurt." Guys, if I was in the NFL, I wouldn't get injured. That's it. I'm just built different. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just built different. <laughs> yeah, it's like those acorn stairlift commercials. Just don't fall. That's it. Basically, I don't know how people get injured. Just don't get injured. Like, duh. All right, Alex, how about Marquis Goodwin? Who's the winners and losers there? Well, the other Eagles wide receiver, I couldn't tell you who the Eagles' number one wide receiver. I mean, maybe Deshaun Jackson, but other than him. It's like, it's kind of a toss up. So, all the other Eagles wide receivers kind of benefit from him opting out. But I'll tell you what, that 64 ounce soda, though, built different. Yeah. Built different. This is how we do it. Everything, <laughs> bro, everything's bigger in Texas. This is Waterbury, bro. This is like a staple. You just, that's it. Ah, I love it, though. Scott? A big loser is Carson Wentz because we talked about it last year, how. The Eagles need speed. They got speed, but part of that's opting out. And Carson Wentz had absolutely nothing to work with late in the season, and he still performed. And for the winner, I would say Deshaun Jackson or Jalen Rieger because he Jalen Rieger is going to have to step in and try to fill those shoes. And just by virtue of moving up in the depth chart, he's a winner in terms of fantasy. Chad? But who opted out? Marquise Goodwin. Honestly, I didn't think he was going to be that important to the offense anyway. Like, they traded for him, yeah, but, I mean, it's not like he's been, like, a, a, a world buster everywhere, everywhere else he's been. So, I think, ultimately, the slot guy was either going to be Jalen Rager or, or Greg Ward regardless. So, I, I don't think it matters that much. I'm with you, Chad. I didn't think Goodwin was going to be super important. However, I think – Deshaun Jackson is by far the biggest winner just because he's the deep guy now and it's not a question. Yeah. That's touchdowns right there. Last one. This is the biggest one. Damian Williams. And this one's kind of obvious. So I'll ask this question. Now that Damian Williams has opted out, where would you rank Clyde Edwards Elair? Because his stock is now through the roof. Go ahead, Alex. I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> I see it bobbing and weaving. I know. I'm like, I'm thinking. I don't want to rate him too high because he's rookie. But you got to think, you know, back when Kareem Hunt was with the Chiefs and, you know, not beating whoever, um, you know, he did really well fantasy-wise, I mean, and for the team. So people were acting like Kansas City running backs can't succeed in the Kansas City just because of Patrick Mahomes and then, you know, their high-flying offense. But, I mean, running backs will succeed there. I mean, if they, they're good enough talent. Basically, with Damian Williams opting out, it just means Clyde has – it's undisputed the number one role in there. So, I mean, he's going to get his points. I would say – I wouldn't put him farther than, like, top eight-ish. I would say he's about probably, like, nine, ten, whatever – just because he's a rookie, and I haven't really seen him play in the NFL after this year, that could change. Scott, Chad? I'd probably have to agree with Alex in terms of that top 10 range because, in fact, he's a rookie and there's still uncertainty because not all rookies work out in the NFL. You can project someone to be great, but that doesn't mean they're going to be great. If Clyde Edward Alaire was going to his second year and had a solid first year, then I'd be willing to put him in the top five, but he's a rookie. There's so much uncertainty that comes with that. Top 10 is the highest I'll go. Uh, I honestly don't think it really affects his stock that much. I think he was going to be good regardless. Um, I just think Andy Reid, when it comes to like random running backs, just finding success with him, I just think it, it's just something that's automatic. So – I, I, I think he's I think he was gonna be good regardless. I think yeah, maybe this makes him a little bit better, but he was gonna be good regardless. Alex, I see you choking over there. Is that <laughs> you just being nervous about Edward Zelair tearing up the Raiders? I'm not bro, I'm not <laughs> talking about it. Like
Like, I just, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm already going to hate watching the Chiefs games. How about? My, I might turn the game off in the third quarter. You don't know me. Like, I just, mm, it's just fucking how ridiculous. About, how about we do this? I'll, get, I'll give three names here. You tell okay. me if you'd rather have Edwards, Elair, or player A. Edwards, Elair, oh. or uh, Joe Mixon. Rapid fire. Yes, and pick one. Quick. Uh, I'd Clyde. Edler. I'd have Clyde. Yeah, I'd Clyde. Joe Mixon's garbage. I hate Joe Mixon. Chad? Elair. I'm with you. Josh Jacobs, Edwards, Elair. Oh, fuck, don't do that to me. <laughs> don't do that to me. Why would you do that? I'm going with Jacobs. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck that. They're about the same I'd- thing. I give him about the same. It's always Jacobs. Always Jacobs. I'd go Clyde. Oh, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> it's always uh, Raiders, bro. I uh, uh, let's get into the uh, the rosters here, which is the main part of the show. And, again, we're doing this because maybe you're going to have your draft. You can see what to expect. And we're going to hand out draft grades for the teams in my league. So – Before I begin, the basic rules, each team can draft up to 23 players. The starting lineups, two quarterbacks, two running backs, two wide receivers, tight end, kicker, and flex. That cannot be a quarterback. Teams can have 23 guys. You have to cut down to three. Touchdowns for running backs, receivers, tight ends are eight. Quarterbacks are four. Uh, Except if it's a rushing touchdown for a quarterback, then it's eight. So we're going to start with the roster. And I know you guys have – you should have these screenshots here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the roster that has uh, – why is mine not coming up? <laughs> I just have it open in Slack. I know, right? <laughs> I just the, roster, the roster that starts with Jacoby Brissett, I will oh, edit these – in the uh, the video here, so you can see them on your screen. Let's go to Chad here first. This is technically my dad's team here. Oh, okay. Chad, how would you grade his team? What did he do well? What did he not do well? And what would you give the overall grade? Uh, uh, well, your dad came into it already with a couple quarterbacks on his team. So... Because he already had Stafford, right? And he had Kyler Murray going into it. Yep. Uh, I think he kind of got a little bit of a steal going with Gardner Minshew. He he got a starting quarterback who's probably going to be really good. Well, not really good, but pretty good next year for $10. Uh, let's see. I think – His running backs, I I, I like uh, Keyshawn Vaughn. Would have never spent 60 dollars for Zeke Elliott, but I guess that's a personal choice. But Zeke's going to be good. I don't know. I, I like your dad's team. I, I'd say he's a top five. What would you give the grade? A, B, C, D, E, Z? Uh, Z. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go B. We'll go B. Okay. Scott? I like the steal with Gardner Minshew because you're getting a starting quarterback on a shitty team and fancy. That's just beautiful for fancy football. Stafford was amazing last year and Kyler Murray for only nine bucks is a very good deal. And especially with the additions on offense, like DeAndre Hopkins, he's going to be scoring points. Zeke is a bit expensive. The rest of the running backs are fairly cheap. I don't see any running back over $8. I like care. I like Carryon Johnson for eight bucks. It's a cheap, cheap guy. No real risk there. Keyshawn Vaughn for a buck is amazing. We talk about him potentially being the number one running back in Tampa Bay and him being Tom Brady's James White's. DeAndre Hopkins for fifty three is a bit pricey, but all the other wide receivers are very cheap, so I can live with that. Tight ends. Blake Jarwin and Ur Smith, they don't really excite me that much. But we're going to see what Blake Jarwin can do as the number one guy. As for kicker, you have two cheap kickers. I'm fine with that. Overall, probably a B plus. Alex? I'll give him an A. Uh, I really like his team. 
Wait, how many, I mean, how many Raiders does he have? He doesn't have any Raiders. Bro, I don't know. You guys make me like some like the worst homer. Like I told y'all on multiple shows that I don't like Raiders players drafting him, but I don't know. Okay. But I really do like his team. Um, I like that he has a lot set up for now. And he has himself set up for like the future too. Um, he has a whole bunch of young players, rookies, and got, you know, some longer deals on there. Um, yeah, I think y'all kind of hit it. Like Zeke is about $62, but he's, you know, top five running back. Hopkins is top five wide receiver. He's 53. Um, one thing I don't like is the $15 on the tight ends. I felt like he could have done better there. Uh, but, I mean, he still has $11 in salary cap. So, I mean, he's it's not like he, you know, set himself, like, terribly. But his quarterbacks are great. Um, I'm, he's got a lot of potential with his running backs, and he's got, you know, a lot to choose from. And his wide receivers are good. He's got Gallup for two dollars, and he's got Calvin Ridley for six dollars, and that's that's already awesome. Mike Williams is hit or miss, and he's got a uh, John Brown too for two dollars. I mean, it, he set himself beautifully. Um, you know, there's the three big purchases with Matthew Stafford, Ezekiel Elliott, DeAndre Hopkins, but those are all probably top five options at their position. So, I think he did great. I'll give him an A. Hell yeah. I'd give it an A minus. I'll finish it off. I think this is the second best team in the league. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted Gardner Minshew bad. Kyler Murray is a big breakout guy for me. I think DeAndre Hopkins will be the best wide receiver in football this year in terms of fantasy. So there's a lot to like here. The only real – and Zeke Elliott, he's been my guy for the last four years. So I love having, having him on my team. The only slight downside is do you trust Blake Jarwin to be a tight end one every week? No. No. Is Sony Michelle good enough to be your second running back? Probably Maybe not. not. Yeah. Probably, probably not. But uh, overall, I think it's a really good team. Oh, yeah. I agree. Okay. Let's go over to the roster that is technically right next to it, the one that starts with Tom Brady. Let's go to uh, Scott first. How would you grade this roster here? I should also right. clarify. I should also clarify before we begin, I didn't say this. Each player could be signed to a one, two, or three-year contract. So when, you see that, so when you see that on the year thing, that's what that means. So if we see, like, free agents next to it, that means they're that means next they, year they're gone? That means we just picked them. So he hasn't been signed yet. Okay. All right. Um, it's a, hold on. Question real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this his first year? Because all of his players yes. are – Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I fucking hate Tom Brady for forty six dollars. Oh God, yeah. I'm I'm gonna just say that right now. Like Matthew Stafford for forty, and Tom, like you look back at the other team, you're Matthew Stafford for forty. That's a steal if Brady's going for forty six. I do not like Brady for forty six dollars. Cousins for twenty two. I'll take it. I don't love it, but it's fine. As for the rest of the quarterbacks, they're all cheap backup, second, third stringers that potentially may not even see the field this year. Running back, Derrick Henry for $61 is way too expensive for me, especially since we're uncertain about if he can replicate what happened last year. Leonard Fournette, who the hell knows? Adrian Peterson for $1 could be a solid option, considering the price. And then the rest of his running backs are just one-buck gambles, which I'm fine with. Wide receiver doesn't have anyone extremely notable. Amendola, I've said before, could be good in the slot with Matthew Stafford returning. Edelman's been old and banged up. I'm not entirely sure how he's going to go. Will Fuller is great when he's healthy. Devin Funters opted out, as we said. Deshaun Jackson is going to be the deep threat in Philadelphia, and him for $3 is amazing if he stays healthy. Marvin Jones in Detroit for 2 bucks. I really like that. Muhammad Snoo for a buck. It's a, do- it's a buck gamble. Like, there's not – a whole lot that needs to happen for that to be a good pick. The one pick that I'm not in love with and might actually say it's a bad pick is Smith Schuster for $25. Like I'm a Steelers fan, but in terms of fantasy, we've seen what he is without Antonio Brown. Now last year not with bad quarterbacks. A bit, yes. So. With bad quarterbacks, but he got hurt quite a bit last year. And honestly, Deontay Johnson I think there's a real possibility he's the best receiver on the steel of step chart. That's not crazy to say. Jared Cook for $9. 
he need a tight end. I'll take it with the Saints. I'm not sure how many targets he's going to get, especially with the addition of Emmanuel Sanders. And Jason Myers as a kicker, it's a kicker for $1. Overall, probably a B- minus to C+. Plus. Chad? Uh, I'm going C on this roster. That Tom Brady, it's just – it's not it's not a good look. Yuck. I don't like that at all. I, I mean, to put it in perspective, I, I got Carson Wentz for $45. Um, yeah. So, I don't like that at all. This guy, he did steal Leonard Fournette from me. I really actually wanted Leonard Fournette. I do really like it. I do like having him. I think he's going to be good this year. Um Derrick Henry for $61. Yeah, that was a little bit of a stretch. But I'll agree with Scott there just because I think he's not, he's not going to be as good as, as he was last year. He might be like a top 10 running back, but I don't think he's going to end up being, you know, top five. And uh, rest of the team, not not super impressed with. Uh, another guy this guy stole from me was Marvin Jones. I had him waiting. That I threw him one. out. I threw him out at the end of the draft, and he outbid me because I only had like two dollars left. So that's Dang. why he got him. Dang, Chad. Dang. Ouch. I know. So C minus for this guy because of Tom Brady. Go ahead, Alex. Okay. Um. Before I start, uh, are you guys good friends with this guy? I just need to know how. I don't want to be too mean because I hate this team. I really do. Um, I really do. I just like if this is your first year to lead, man. Like you might you might be a one year guy, and you know it's time to go. Because first of all, the first thing and it's the first name on the goddamn roster is Todd Brady for forty six dollars. I'm like, oh my god. Okay. Shit. He's one of these guys. Okay. Kirk Cousins for twenty two dollars. That's not much better, especially Adam Thielen is the only you know established wide receiver there. I mean, that should have been your cue, like, hey, maybe no. Um, let's see. A lot of the other guys, yeah. I mean, it's not like Jalen Hurts is going to start in Philly, hopefully. Uh, Jordan Love is not going to start for a little bit. Uh, the only – I don't know. I like I like Derrick Henry this year. Um, you know, I think he's just always – he's always been a really good running back. I think he can repeat. That's why I was like sixty-one dollars for Derrick Henry. I'm like, okay, that's like one of the few that I actually like because you know it was actually a good pickup. You know, he might have went a little bit expensive, but I would have spent that much on him. Uh, his wide receivers are okay. Um, he didn't spend too much. Juju for twenty-five. That is a little bit too high. Um, Elman is he's old. It seems uh, we'll see how that goes. Will Fuller. That's a little too much for him. Um, but Leonard Fournette for thirty dollars also kind of I was like uh, that's a little much I wouldn't have spent that much for him. I don't know I I don't I don't like this team I don't um I I like Derrick Henry and I like some of the wide receivers and that's about it and everything else I hate about this um you know maybe I'm an idiot but I just don't like this team so I give it a D plus. I well, would give I would give it a C. There are things that I like, things that I don't like. Getting Derrick Henry is smart, whether it costs $61 or not. It's good to have a running back one. His wide receiver depth I like a lot. Edelman, Fuller, Jackson, Jones, Smith-Schuster. It's good to have a lot. He's going to have a lot of options there. Jared Cook, 9 bucks. I think that's a good deal. However, it's going to be tough to win games if Tom Brady and Kirk Cousins are two quarterbacks in this league. Oh man, that's... it's gonna be tough to win games if Leonard Fournette is your second running back and he needs to perform like one. So, I think it's an okay team. It's fine for your first year in the league or back in the league. So, I would give it a C. All right. That being said, one other thing that yeah. I forgot to mention is I actually do like Kirk Cousins this year. I actually for twenty two dollars, be... it's a good deal. Right. Oh, I I, I, like I forgot to mention that. I think it's gonna. I wanted Kirk Cousins, but again. Towards the end of the draft, I was running out of money. <laughs> I had to make some business decisions. <laughs> and again, the reason why we're doing this is if you're preparing for your auction league, maybe you don't know how much a player will go for. We have a live example of how much players have went for because we had our draft. So you're planning, hey, how much do you think this guy will cost? Well, we just did our draft and had an example. So 
We're going to go to Matt's team, who has texted me and said he will join the show next week to discuss his oh, roster. Wow. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn wow. it, Matt. Wow. So, so uh, he can, like, just completely rip his team. <laughs> automatic F. He already gets an F. I haven't even seen his team. He gets an F. This is the <laughs> roster that starts with Jimmy Garoppolo. Again, I'll put these on the screen for you guys to watch while we talk about them. How would you grade this roster? Let's go to uh, Chad here. Um, I, I'm going to give Matt's roster, I'm going to give him a C. Uh, things I like about it, I like uh, his wide receivers. Uh, I, I think Adam Thielen, we've talked about that he might not be that good next year because Stephon Diggs isn't there. I think his, his targets go up. I think he'll probably get more points. He'll probably be really, he'll probably be good next year. I'm not going to say he's not going to be, you know, I don't think he's going to be top 10, but I think he's going to be solidly, solidly in the top 15. Uh, I know he traded for Aaron Jones. Green Bay, they're a run first team now. I, I don't think Aaron Jones is going to be as good as he was last year. I mean, he was one hand in catches in the back of the end zone last year. I don't I don't see that happening a whole lot this year coming up. Um, but I still think he's going to be good. Uh, I think he overpaid for Aaron Rodgers, but I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be good. Uh, George Kittle for $21 is – is a steal who I think George Kittle's probably second best tight end in the league. And he has him for seven bucks less than I have Zach Ertz, who's probably like the third or fourth best. So I, I, I give Matt a C no, no free agent money too, though. That's a, that's a, that's a knock. Scott. I agree that $52 for Aaron Rodgers is quite a bit of money and one thing i'm looking at the team he lacks a lot of depth and it's not like he can sign someone because he's used up all of his salary cap space so if aaron Rodgers or jimmy garoppolo get hurt his team's basically shot he's basically done for the year and i don't like that at all you need depth and especially in a two quarterback league you need at least four quarterbacks that can be viable options in the case of an injury or bye week or whatever the case may be Aaron Jones is due for a down year, but I don't mind it for nine bucks. I think Austin Eckler is going to be great with the Chargers. Um, Duke Johnson for a buck. I'm fine with that. He has a lot of cheap guys just for a buck, which I'm fine with, but they're good gambles, but I don't see them really panning out. And that just attributes to the lack of depth. And I really, that's what I hate about this team. Adam Thielen's due for a down year simply because the loss of Stephon Diggs. More attention is going to be put on him. Chris Godwin, 43 bucks. I don't like that. He's not going to be as good as he was last year because Tom Brady is going to be nowhere near the fantasy quarterback that Jameis Winston was last year. The only real redeeming factor is George Kittle for 21 bucks. Like, this is a C team at best. Alex? Uh, I'll put it at a C, too. Um <clears throat> He really fucked himself when he only got two quarterbacks and he spent $82 on two quarterbacks. And I wouldn't have paid $82 for either of these quarterbacks. I mean, is Jimmy Garoppolo, I don't think he – in San Francisco's usually run first offense, I was just like, uh, I don't like that at all. Aaron Rodgers for $52. <laughs> he must be a, a Packers fan because Aaron Rodgers is – I mean, he's okay in fantasy. He does good, but I don't know. I just – I didn't like that. It's too expensive. Um, I, I do love that even though he didn't get him this year, he still has my boy uh, Austin Eckler. Uh, I've, I've been riding high on Austin Eckler this whole time. I guess this is the guy you traded Aaron Jones to, yes? Correct. Okay. And so that's where one of his quarterbacks went. But uh, I don't – it's okay. It's, it's a C team. Um I do like some of his wide receivers. He got Cooper Cup, and I think he's top five, maybe top seven-ish wide receiver in the league this year for $24. I think that's good. Adam Thielen, if he stays healthy, for $25, that's pretty solid. Um, he's got MBS, which I'm not going to try to fucking say his name. But uh, and after Devin Funches just went out, then he got him for a dollar. I like that. Dante Pettis for a dollar. I like that. Um Chris Godwin for forty three dollars is glaring, and you know it, that's probably riding on the hype of last year. But 
uh, Chris Godwin for $43 is not going to be good with Tom Brady as your quarterback. And Tom Brady went for $46. And I just, I, I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's, it's an okay team. It's a C team. Um, if he just better hope Jimmy Garoppolo or Aaron Rodgers doesn't get injured. Cause after that he's, he's fucked. I would give it a C minus. Sorry, Matt, but, uh, it's going to be difficult. You walk out of the draft with 17 guys and the rest have 20. And he has the option to cut somebody to get some free agent money here, but there's not a lot of cut. options. Yeah. I, I, like I you, cut, I cut Tyler Lock, lock it. I cut him. That's not nice. You can, you can cut anybody who isn't signed. So if somebody has a one or two next to him, he's already signed. You have to stick. So you that. have to, you have right, to cut wait. someone that's not signed. <laughs> well, right. but you can cut someone that's signed, but you don't get any money back. Yeah, correct. So it can be Lockett, Cup, Godwin, Garoppolo, or Rogers. But either way, those are the only guys who's going to make a difference because the rest of the guys are just one buck. That's it's not going to make gonna, a difference. Regardless of who you have, it's <sighs> going to be tough to win when you don't have a lot of depth here. I think Rogers was too much for fifty-two. Yes, Rogers was too yeah. much. You got two quarterbacks here and run first offenses, and you spent eighty-two dollars for him. I'm not sure I love that. However, there is a chance he can win games. He can win games if things go right and he doesn't suffer any injuries because Kittle, Eckler, and Aaron Jones is a pretty good way to start. I like Cooper Cup. His starting unit should be good. It's a matter of if you can sustain it. If you can sustain the bye weeks yeah. and if you can sustain injuries. And that's that's where – I mean, he's hoping for the healthiest season yet. <laughs> Which is also like the worst year to hope for that. Right now. Right. Yeah. Oh, oof. Matt, you oof. really screwed yourself here. I don't know. He's not as bad as my, my D-plus guy. So, that's all right. I don't know who that is, but that's that's what I'm giving him. <clears throat> so, we're going to do the roster right next to Matt's here. This is the one that starts with Bridgewater. Again, it is on your screen here. I need to make a quick announcement, too. My shirt says Yankees suck. I'm not a Yankees fan. So, if it's been like Not this, you, yeah. Trey. Yeah. Not you. Just, just so you know. All right. So very here we go. Uh, what, what's your announcement? No, oh, I said that was a very important announcement. It was a very important announcement. Uh, Scott, let's go to you. What would you grade this roster here? So similarly to the other roster, there is not a lot of quarterback depth because I personally think Sidham can walk out of training camp in New England and be the starter. But outside of that, he only has three quarterbacks. I think Bridgewater is going to have a great year this year, and we've talked about it on previous shows because of Joe Brady. He is can very likely be what made Joe Burrow, and he can do the same for Bridgewater. And Daniel Jones brings great rushing ability, and that's perfect for fantasy. And then when we go into the running backs, Joe Mixon for $38. Yuck. That is just terrible. Alvin Kamara for 55, I'm not a big fan of that, but he's going to be the one that has to carry this running back group because you have Jonathan Taylor for the Colts, you have Jamal Williams, who I think can be pretty good, and then you have David Montgomery for the Bears, and the Bears are just a total shit show of a team because we don't know what's going to happen with them. So he needs Kamara to carry this running back room. And then when we dip into wide receivers, Tyler Boyd for six bucks, I'm fine with that. Chris Campbell for a buck. It's a dollar. Not much you can expect from him. So any good production is a profit from that. And then Mike Evans from Tampa Bay for $30. That's the one where $30, it's not top tier money. But at the same time, he's not going to be a top fantasy wide receiver because of Brady. So that one, I'm not entirely sure where I sit. But I like Evans, the player. It's just the uncertainty with Brady and how I we all think Brady isn't going to be good simply because he's not used to that type of offense. He's not used to that type of beating. And I don't think he has the arm to be able to deliver on the deep passes. Christian Kirk for $4. I like that. That Cardinals team is going to be throwing all over the place. Allen Robinson for 17. I really like this because Allen Robinson has been a great receiver with Blake Bortles and Mitch Trubisky. If Nick Foles is even average with the bears, Allen Robinson will be good. Curtis Samuel for five bucks. It's a cheap receiver. D.D. Westbrook. D.D. Westbrook and 
Preston Williams, both three dollars. It's three dollar depth guys. I'm fine with that. As for tight end, he has a very cheap tight end room, but it's also not a good tight end room. Oh, okay. Mike Gesicki is going to be the make or break for this tight end room. Aiden Hurst, he has not been a good tight end. I don't know how the hell the Ravens managed to get a second round pick for him. And when we look at Hawkinson, 131 out of his 367 receiving yards last year came in one game. He only had two tight ends on the year last year. He's not a good tight end in terms of production. And I like the kicker, Harrison Bucker, because the Kansas State Chiefs are going to be scoring a lot of points. Overall, just the lack of depth and for quarterback and tight ends and running back, it makes it a very hard draft to like. I'm giving it a seat. Chad? Uh, I, went, I went D with this team. Uh, I, I do like Bridgewater and Daniel Jones. I think they're going to be pretty – pretty good next year um the Stidham thing I don't Scott you said that you think that he has a chance to be the starter in New England I think that's not even possible like at all like there's no way in hell he ever takes a snap (laughs) Uh, I don't know I don't know man we'll find out yeah Cam would have to die like literally get hit by a truck in order for Stidham to take a snap he's got he's got broken knees out there playing he's like he had a broken foot last year, so. Um, I think there's a couple players on this team that absolutely need Nick Foles to take over in order for them to be good. David Montgomery, I think if Nick Foles takes over, his stock goes up. Uh, Allen Robinson, if his if he take if Nick Foles takes over, he, his stock goes up. Uh, Alvin Kamara, I'm actually not really a fan of that. I do like Alvin Kamara, but at $55, to put it in perspective, uh, Zeke Elliott had om- like three, almost 300 points last season in fantasy. Uh, Alvin Kamara, you can see there, only had 181. And he has him for $7 less than Zeke went for. So I think that's an overspend. Uh, Joe Mixon, I think that's an overspend. I got... I got Todd Gurley for like twenty one or twenty three dollars or something like that, and he got him for like fifteen dollars more than that. And I don't think Joe Mixon is as good as Todd, Todd Gurley is. Uh, overspend, I think, on Mike Evans. I I agree with I get I I like Allen Robinson, but I I I like him even better once Nick Foles takes over. So, so that's that. Alex, uh, I I think that's I I I'm bouncing between B minus and C plus because I don't. There's things I like about this roster, at least for the draft wise, and then there's things I just really don't. Um, one glaring problem I see is Alvin Kamara for fifty five dollars. That's just not that's not acceptable. It's just not. I just I hate that. Um, you're kind of buying more on the fact that he's going to bounce back and you know you know potential and all that. I just I don't like that. I think you probably could have gotten for fifteen dollars cheaper, honestly. Um, Teddy Bridgewater, uh, I, I do like Teddy Bridgewater, but I didn't think he was going to be more than Daniel Jones. I like Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones is going to have more points than Teddy Bridgewater. But the fact that you got both of these guys in one draft is is pretty good. Um, I think people are sleeping on Teddy Bridgewater a little bit. Uh, as far as your existing roster, I hate Joe Mixon, so uh, that's why it's leaning towards like C plus C for me. But there's a lot of there's a lot of wide receivers I do like. I, I really like Allen Robinson this year, no matter who's the quarterback, just because he's the only really good wide receiver there and that's established. So um, he's going to get most of the looks. He's going to get most of the targets, and he's going to get most of the catches, yards, touchdowns, all that jazz. Uh, I do like the – you took a lot of cheap, uh, cheap risk, and I like that. Tyler Boyd, Paris Campbell – um, you know, behind T.Y., uh, they have Michael Pittman, and you know what, Paris Campbell can either be wide receiver two or three. Uh, Kirk Christian for four dollars, I don't hate that. Um, Mike Evans is a little expensive, but um, that's kind of just riding on last year, so I don't hate. I it's sixteen dollars cheaper, I believe, than Chris Godwin. So you know what, that's good for you. Uh, 
I, I just I wouldn't have got Mike Evans for more than maybe like twenty five dollars, I guess. But I, you know what, Mike Evans for thirty dollars, I don't hate that. Uh, D.D. Westbrook, I for three dollars, he was already on your roster, but I really like that. Um, so kudos to you on that. Preston Williams for three dollars, I love that. Um, I think he could be one of the. Uh, I think he could be really solid this year if uh, you know behind De- Devontae Parker. I love um, for. Three dollars and three tight ends for your tight end group. I'll take that any day. Uh, yes, we we've talked shit about Hayden Hurst. We talked shit about T.J. Hawkinson, um, and we we give him praise to Mike Gusecki or whatever. I don't fucking know, but yeah, whatever. That's his fucking name, uh, Gusecki. That's his, that's his new name. But I don't I don't hate that. I don't hate. I I really don't hate this roster. Um, I I hate Joe Mixon. I don't like the Alvin Kamara. You do lack some running back depth and quarterback depth, but I do like your wide receiver group. It's not bad. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'll stick with this. I'll, I'll stick with the B minus. I agree with you, Alex. I'm going to go B minus. This team, just from looking at it, looks like a five or six seed in a playoffs. It, it's not an elite team. There are things that I don't like. And even the things that are going to like break his way, I don't like. Kamara, He'll be productive. He's not worth 55. Mixon, 38, too much. He, like, you can go up and down this roster and find mistakes everywhere, but there's enough here to where Jonathan Taylor's your fourth running back. You're probably going to be all right. Allen Robinson for 17. I think that's a great deal. Mike Evans goes for less than Chris Scott, 13 less than Chris Godwin. I think Gesicki could have a really good year. So, to me, it's a, you know, borderline playoff roster – barring an injury to quarterback. The only, I think the worst one is Bridgewater. 30 to me was too much just because I think he'll be a, more of a game manager this year. It's hard for me to see him having games where he's throwing three scores. Well, you just throw him to Christian McCaffrey and he just runs it in. That's, that's all he has to do. I mean, it's, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> I think $30 for Teddy Bridgewater was too much. I said about – I think about 20 would be – would have been a good price for him, but – I mean, I, I, I do like Teddy Bridgewater this year. I think he could be pretty decent. All right, let's go to the roster that is starting with Derek Carr, and we'll start with Alex here again. Oh, well, fuck. I got to find yes. him first. Before, before we go to the next one, real quick, I just suggest, okay, found it. just suggestion. I don't know if you guys want to do this or not, but in an effort for more content, uh, did you want to do like, like half of the teams this week and then the other half next week? No. No, I'd all rather do all of them. All of them. This is a long episode. This is what we came here I'd for. I'd rather do all of them because uh, I'm going to be limited on time, mostly. <laughs> okay. And I don't want to space the episodes out too long. Um, oof, okay. 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 So, Alex, go ahead. Um, one thing that I can see is your page is not as long as the other ones, meaning you <laughs> lack depth for, like – um, you, you did get about eight people, I guess, this year. Okay, let me – Derek Carr for $22. I don't hate that. Of course, I'm a Raiders fan. You guys don't like that. Uh, Cam Newton for $41. Jesus Christ, but you got him earlier, and I guess that's when he was with the Panthers. Tyrod Taylor for 17 I don't hate that. I don't. Um, it's okay. Let's see. Oh, you my boy got Josh Jacobs. Okay, love that. Love that. Is this guy uh, a Raiders fan? I don't know, actually. <laughs> this is Joe Weaver. I don't know, but I don't. I don't hate that. I love Josh Jacobs for seven dollars. I guess that's a rookie contract. Mark Ingram for thirty-four dollars. Ooh, that's great. Um, this is all mostly your past stuff, though. For your draft, uh, Keenan Allen for eighteen dollars. I love that. That oh my god, that's that's awesome. Um, Stephon Diggs for twenty-two. I, I don't hate that either. I think those are two really good pickups. Jarvis Landry for 16 You know what? Say what you want about Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham for $16. I'll take that too. Uh, Justin Jefferson for $7. I love that. Evan Ingram for $10. Austin Hooper for $8. I, as far as your draft went, I, I'd, give you, I'd give you an A. Um, as far as your overall team, um, I'm leaning more towards C. Um your team as a whole lacks a lot of depth. Uh, 
I pray that you don't have injuries. Yes, you have $13 in salary cap, but that's not going to hold you over. Your team overall, C, maybe even lower. As far as your draft went, I like your draft a lot. I think you got um, a lot of a lot of good players for less than they should have went for. Um, I like your draft. I'll go A, team is the C. Scott? I hate this roster because you have $13 in salary cap space and you only have 14 players. Yeah, and like, it hurts. It hurts. You have $68 for three quarterbacks. You have $75 for five running backs. And you have $57 for four wide receivers. You lack so much depth that it's impossible for you to be in playoff contention in this league. Like, overall team composition is a D at best. Maybe even an F. Just because you have absolutely zero depth. As for the draft, you they managed to do all right. They got a great deal with Keenan Allen. Digs for 22. I like it. He's going to be the number one in Buffalo. Justin Jefferson for seven. I'm kind of iffy on that because rookie wide receivers struggle in the beginning when adapting to the NFL. I like Jarvis Landry for 16 because I think he's the best wide receiver on the Browns. Simply put. He was – the Browns were better when they had him as the number one instead of Odell. As for tight ends, I don't really like these. What? Yes, they're cheap. I love these tight ends. They're like cheap, the but I'm not high on Austin Hooper at all. And even Evan Ingram's good when healthy. That little bit when healthy, that just drives me away from him. And 10 bucks is very cheap. So if he works out, it's great. But if he gets hurt, you are screwed. Like we talk about him having to have healthy season. Evan Ingram is one of the worst tight ends to bet on to be healthy. Cam Newton is one of the worst quarterbacks to bet on to be healthy. Mark Ingram for $34 is just too much money. I do not love, I do not like this team at all. The draft, I'll give it a B, but he didn't get a lot of players to fill up the depth. He got good players, but he didn't get a lot of them. And this is the year where you need a lot of depth. I did, I did the math. He only really had $110 in salary cap. So, I mean, for me, only having that much and being able to get those type of players, you know, regardless of your past decisions, I think his draft went really well. His draft did go well, but at the same time, you need that depth. You have thir- he has $13 left, but he only has 14 players. I don't like this team at all. Chad? Yeah, you just $6. You get six players for $2. That's it. There you go. <laughs> Bullshit. I, I like this team. I, I like Cam Newton. I think he's going to be good next year, especially with Belichick. Tyrod Taylor, he's probably not going to start the whole season, but he'll get you some wins early. Derek Carr, I think it's going to be good. Um, Put that on recording. <laughs> Clip that. Yeah, Go ahead. It is being recorded, Alex. That's the nature uh, well, of a I podcast. Know, I know, but like, put that, make sure that's a tweet and then, you know, make add that and all that tweet does. just so we can give just, so, fans just so I can have that, I can bookmark that. I, I like the running backs. I, I like the wide receivers. I think Justin Jefferson, I mean, that's really the only one who I think you can say as far as wide receivers go are questionable on this team. Uh, Austin Hooper sucks, but he might be good because David Njoku re- requested a trade. Uh, Evan Ingram I like. Don't like that he doesn't have any kickers. We know kickers aren't people, but they still need to no, have they're condoms, according to Alex. <laughs> They're condoms, according to Alex. Uh, but, I mean, kickers are a dime a dozen. You can grab them. You, you know, go grab one for a dollar tomorrow. That doesn't matter. I, I like not, the team. Not before week one. He's got he's to gotta go into week one without a kicker, so. Oof. Okay, well, like I said, they don't matter anyway, so who cares? Yes, sir, Chad. Yes, this, sir. This team, to me, could easily go 4-0 the first four weeks, and then – like oh and, oh and six, <laughs> right just after. Fall, yeah. Just because if you think about it, how many teams are going to put out three running backs? Because you got to, you can start three that are Kenyon Drake, Mark Ingram, Josh Jacobs. That's a trio yeah. that's pretty good. Keenan Allen, Stephon Diggs. That's a duo that's pretty good. Evan Ingram, I'll take that. Cam Newton, he's a bit of an X factor. But what if he has a crazy ass year where he's running for touchdowns and throwing it and killing it. And he's, I don't know. Overthrowing and fumbling. Like just 
see, you don't lose points for fumbles, though. So what if he has a crazy-ass year? So I think I'm going to go with this draft could be a B, this draft could be a D. How's that? I don't like that. A B. I'm giving the overall team a D. Yeah, I think the team's not as good, but I do. I really like his draft. So I I'll, I'll settle on a C team. since he has no kicker as well. Okay. I, t- I put it in A because kickers don't matter to me. All right, let's go to the uh, the team right next to it here. It's the one that starts with Matt Ryan. Again, edited on your screens here. Chad, what do you have for a draft grade for this team? Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go go C. There's there's things I like about this team. Things I don't like. I lo- I like Russell Wilson, forty six dollars. Uh. Matt Ryan, I know he's not the greatest quarterback around, but he's solid. He's going to produce for you. He's going to get points for you every week. Uh, I love Miles Sanders. Nick Chubb, that's a great pickup. He's going to be the man in Cleveland next year. Uh, I don't like Kareem Hunt for $15. That's a guy that's probably never going to touch the field next year, considering who, who all Cleveland has. Uh, I mean, he could get traded. That's really his only value. Devontae Parker, $6. I think he's going to be good next year. Amari Cooper, I like him. He's probably the only Cowboy I would consider taking. Uh, Cole Beasley was magnificent for me last year. So, I think having him for $1 or having Stephon Diggs in Buffalo only opens things up for him. I like Darren Waller. I think it's a solid C. Alex? Um, there's, it's like a battle of extremes. There's a lot I like and there's a lot I don't like. Uh, Russell Wilson, I mean, kudos that he got him, but now he only has two quarterbacks and I hate that for him. Uh, he has $9 to maybe spend on a quarterback later in the year, but I don't even know if there's quarterbacks available. Um, it's so, I, I commend him for getting Russell Wilson, but then it's just like, you kind of fuck yourself at the same time. Uh, I think Matt Breida is a sneaky good pickup. Malcolm Brown's a good pickup like that. Uh, Kareem Hunt, I don't understand that one. And for fifteen dollars at that, maybe if you got him for like five, I guess. But for fifteen dollars, I just don't see the point in that. Um, you know, you already had Miles Sanders from what looks like a rookie draft. Nick Chubb, I, those are going to be really solid for you. Cole Beasley for a dollar, I'll take that as a third wide receiver. AJ Brown for twenty three dollars, I love that. Um, you know, I think he could have a really stellar year for $23. You got him. I'd sign him three years right now. Mari Cooper for $40. That's a little expensive for my taste with Michael Gallup and uh, who the fuck? Uh, C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb. Yeah, C.D. Lamb there. I think uh, I think he's actually going to go down in production a little bit. Um, so I don't like that one as much. Uh, K.J. Hamler for $2. That's awesome. Um, Jerry Judah for 5 That's awesome. Devontae Parker for 16. I love that. I think he's top 10 this year. Uh, if he's healthy, of course. Darren Waller for 16. As a Raiders fan, I, I'm iffy on that just because I don't think Darren Waller does as good as this year. Uh, but, I mean, overall, I would say maybe like C+. Uh, there's a lot I like about this roster. I don't like your quarterback situation. I don't like the Amari Cooper thing and the Kareem Hunt thing. But everything else is pretty solid. Maybe a B minus. I'm I'm around there. I, that's it's it's good, but it could have been better. Scott, what do you have here? Like Alex said, you're screwed quarterback wise. Yes, you got Russell Wilson, but you have so much money invested. You have eighty five dollars invested in two quarterbacks. I don't like that at all because this is the year you really need depth, and he's lacking it at the quarterback position. As for running backs, I don't understand the Kareem Hunt pick at all. He's going to be much worse than Nick Chubb, and you're paying him $6 more than Nick Chubb. It makes absolutely no sense. I like Miles Sanders for a buck. That's a good gamble. Looks like he's from a rookie draft. Aside from that, he has a lot of depth, but no one that's really eye-popping. And I like the depth, and if Nick Chubb can stay healthy, he's going to carry this running back room. Cole Beasley for a buck, I absolutely love it because he was a great slot receiver for the Bills and getting him for a dollar is amazing. 
A.J. Brown for 23, I love because Juju Smith-Schuster went for 25, and A.J. Brown is going to have a much better year than Juju Smith-Schuster. Mari Cooper at 40 is a bit pricey, but as we look down the rest of the wide receiver room, K.J. Hammer for two bucks, love it. Jalen Hurd for a buck, I like it because, especially when sit with Ebo Samuel being injured, sorry, Trey, and having Jerry Judy for five bucks is great. That Denver receiving core is an amazing one. And Devontae Parker for 16, I like that. He's going to have a good year with the Dolphins. As for the tight end room, there's not a lot to love about it, except from the fa- except for the fact that it's pretty cheap. Jack Doyle for a buck, Chris Herndon for two bucks, and Darren Waller for 16. I don't think he's going to repeat what he did last year, but he should be a okay to solid tight end for fantasy and for the Raiders. And kicker for Will Lutz. It's a kicker. There's not a whole lot to say about it other than the Saints are going to be scoring some points. And Lutz is going to be kicking extra points. He's going to be kicking some field goals. He's going to be productive for three bucks. Overall, I'd give this draft and team a B minus. I'm higher than all of you. I would give this draft a B plus. I think this is a semifinal team here. Maybe catch a good break and go further. But to me, yes, you have two quarterbacks, but Name the time Matt Ryan got hurt. Name the time Russell Wilson got hurt. Mm. Historically, they've been sturdy. So, if you're going to take a gamble on having two quarterbacks, these are two quarterbacks that uh, if you don't have a ton of depth, they're probably the right guys to have. Nick Chubb, I love, as you guys know. Miles Sanders for a dollar. Can't argue that one. A.J. Brown for 23 was somebody I was interested in. Judy, rookie draft pick, great. Devontae Parker, 16, good value. So, I think this is a really good team. Yeah. I can see it. I don't know. Okay. I, I'm still trying to figure out the Kareem Hunt thing. That, that just well, wait, that's you just mind boggling. When you have Chubb and uh, you're worried about an injury, maybe. Mm. But that's a, lot, that's a lot to worry about for an injury. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's all right. All right, let's go to the team that uh, the first player on the list here is Andy Dalton. Again, this will be interesting on your screen as well here. Let's start with Scott. If you have it pulled up and you're ready to go, what do you have for this team? I like Dalton. I like having Dalton and Prescott on the same team. You have Dalton for a buck in case Prescott gets hurt. The other thing, I don't like Prescott for forty dollars because he is not going to be the same as he was last year. That is just not happening. And Sam Darnold for nine bucks. I'm fine with that. He's going to be carrying that Jets team on his back. And he played very well last year with a winning record and had mono. Like Sam Darnold is a great quarterback and I like it for nine bucks. Trace McSorley for a buck. I have no idea like how to feel. Why would you even pick him? Like, I just don't see any possibility to where he scores you more than five points on the year in total. Clyde Edwards Alaire for seven bucks. I love it. Especially with Damien Williams opting out. That's just beautiful and cheap. Melvin Gordon for 27, however. That I do not like that at all. Because he and Philip Lindsay are going to be fighting for carries. And he also has Philip Lindsay for 15. I think Lindsay is the better running back in Denver. And you just have that much money essentially for one running back because if there are two running backs in a committee, those touches are going to total out to one running back. So I do not like that use of money. And Chris Thompson for the Jags for a buck. It's a buck. It's a throwaway. We don't know what's happening with Fournette. It could be good, but I'm not going to fault him for that. It's a dollar. As for Odell, getting Odell for 26, I like Odell as a receiver more than I like Melvin Gordon as a running back. And... Odell, hopefully going to bounce back. Hopefully Baker Mayfield is going to bounce back. And this is, again, another pick on hope. Tyreek Hill for 31. Tyreek Hill is definitely $5 better than Odell Beckham. He's just so explosive. That down-the-field threat, like Deshaun Jackson, long touchdowns, that's going to score you a lot of points. T.Y. Hilton, T.Y. Hilton for 31. That's from the past. I get it, but I not. I don't like that. He was hurt last year. He's really the only guy in Indy. So that can go two ways. That can mean he's going to get majority of the targets, but also means he's going to get majority of the number one coverage, the double team, stuff of that nature. 
Emmanuel Sanders for $6. I really like this one because he's going to be the number two option in New Orleans, and that's a pass-happy offense. He's going to get his catches. He's going to get his yards. Travis Kelsey for 28 This one, I don't love it. I just don't love it because I feel it's a lot of money for a tight end. And, yes, it is the Kansas City tight end, but it's just a lot of money for tight end. And getting Gronk for $9, I'm okay with this because you're not breaking the bank for Gronkowski. There's a chance that he's good. And if it was over $13, I would have said no way. But it's $9, and I'm fine with this pick because it's such a cheap pick. Now, again, my one issue overall with this team is he has 16 players. And he has $14 in cap room, so maybe he can sign a couple of cheap free agents. But he just doesn't have a lot of players on his team. Overall, I like this team because of certain players. There's just a few price tags that are just too much for me, so I'm giving this a B. Chad? Uh, I actually agree. I, I, I think this team is actually kind of sneaky good. I give it a B too. I actually like Melvin Gordon. I think he's probably going to be, I would say, top 15 in the league this year. I think Melvin Gordon is going to end up getting a lot of touchdowns this season. Uh, he's going to be their number one back, and I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be their goal line guy too. Uh, Lindsey's going to be the secondary guy. That's where I think having Philip Lindsey, I don't know. It, it, it It's not going to hurt him, but I think it's – Basically, you're going to have to pick, oh, who do I think is going to have a better better week this week, Gordon or Lindsey? And I, I think it's going to be Gordon more weeks than not. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Zulaire, he, you know, benefits from uh, Damian Williams going down, but I think he was going to be re- good regardless. So, I, I like I said, I, I like this roster. I think it's going to be sneaky good. I give it a B plus. Alex? Uh, I think from Odell down, I really love the roster and then, like, from, you know, Chris Thompson up, I really don't. Uh, I do think just because of his wide receivers and tight ends, I think they could be really, uh, like everyone's kind of saying, it's sneaky good. Um, Odell for Beckham, Odell Beckham for $26. I don't hate it. I think it's a little pricey, but I don't mind it. Ryan Edwards for $2, and he could be a ton- touchdown option for, you know, uh, Las Vegas. I don't think that's, I don't think that's terrible. Uh, Tyreek Hill and T.Y. Hilton from past. Uh, T.Y. is a little expensive, but uh, if he has a bounce back here, then, you know, you're good. Tyreek Hill, for he's going to be, you know, at least top six, top seven. Uh, Manuel Sanders for $6. I love that. Uh, Travis Kelsey, I would have paid $28 for Travis Kelsey. Uh, he is, you know, there is a lot of uh, mouse to feed in Kansas City, but he's like the biggest one. He's the main one. Uh, I love Gronk for $9. I, that was a very low risk, high reward. Um, he could be, you know, if they do long drives, he could be in there at like the five or 10, toss it up to Gronk. If he's healthy, you know what? He's going to get a lot of touchdowns. I love that for $9. On the top half, um, I do like Dak Prescott. That's pretty good. And Sam Darnold, I guess you got him a rookie draft or something for $9. I, I think that's awesome. Andy Dalton and Trace McSorley are your other ones, and that's where I kind of have an issue is because you don't have any solid depth. If Dak plays, then Andy Dalton's kind of useless. Trace McSorley, I, he's not playing. Um, so, and I'm not really worried about Dak here. Dak's always been kind of healthy. Uh, Sam Darnold is what I'm kind of worried about. If he goes down, you do have $14 to get another quarterback, but it's still, I don't like that. Uh, I think you could have done better with your quarterback depth just a little bit, maybe just grab an extra one. Um, I hate tandems, as everyone knows. I hate tandems. So the Denver thing already throws me off because um, I don't like picking and choosing who's going to be good and who's going to be good or who else is not going to be good that week. Uh, I mean, so Melvin Gordon, Philip Lindsay, as good running backs as they are in a very run-happy uh, offense like Denver's, it's okay. I just – $42, that's too much for me for two quarterbacks for two running backs on the same team. Um, Clyde, I love that. I love Clyde for $7. That's, that's, I, I will give you props for that. But the Denver thing and then the quarterback situation kind of throws me off. Uh, I'm, I really like it, and I don't like that part. I'll go in the middle. I'll go C here. Um, so I'll, I'll go C, but I think he could have a really good year to where he's a semi, semifinalist, maybe even a finalist if he gets an upset. Uh, I think his roster is really good. Um, as far as 
maybe like future endeavors. I don't like that. The uh, I, I think I'd go with you, Alex. I'll give it a C. The lack of depth is a problem. The only having two quarterbacks, while well, it's it's not great, but at least you have Dalton, so that saves it a little bit. If Prescott were to go down, Melvin Gordon and Lindsey, I'm not sure I would have done that. I would have just picked one. Edward Zeller, I think, will have a great year. I do think Hilton can bounce back. Tyreek Hill is a good pick. Travis Kelsey. So there's good there's good things about it. It's just, you know, it's it's not an elite sort of roster in any way. Yeah. So this next one, uh, we'll do the roster right next to it here, as you can see on your screen. You we can, you wanna, we you can go – I think we can go quick here. Okay. It's the one that starts with Drew Brees. Uh, I don't think we need a ton of analysis here. So uh, go quick. Is this any higher than an F, Scott? Because my higher grade, than an F. My grade here would be an F. An F? Okay. All right. I, like I said, I think we can go quick on this one. Okay. I mean, I think it may be yeah. the worst roster in this league that's ever existed. So, <laughs> so you you don't ha- you, you know don't, what <laughs> you don't have to go crazy here. Let's just, uh, honestly, I don't think it is higher than that. Drew Brees for fifty dollars is too much. You pay twenty five for Jared Goff, and this isn't like from previous years. This is this year. This is drafting him for twenty five dollars. What the hell are you thinking? You have seventeen for Josh Rosen. Why the hell do you even have Mason Rudolph on your roster? The only somewhat redeeming factor is Drew Lock for six dollars. But then we go to the running backs. You have Royce Freeman, who's maybe the third guy in Denver. You willingly paid twenty-two dollars for David Johnson this year. You have Marlon Mack for twenty-six, and you have James White for twenty-five. You're screwed. You have Randall Cobb for two dollars. That's okay. You have Larry Fitzgerald for a buck. He's probably getting phased out of this offense, if anything. You have Alshon Jeffrey for a buck. He's probably not even going to play. You spent nine dollars on a rookie in C.D. Lamb, who he's the third best receiver on that Dallas team. But he you was spent ten. Drafted, he's, he's he was a rookie pick. He's a rookie pick. Oh, okay, so he's he was, a rookie pick. He picked him before C.D. Lamb was on the Cowboys. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, that's redeeming in some aspect. You pay $10 <laughs> for Golden Tate, who I like him, but not I don't love him. You pay 27 for Robert Woods, and then your tight ends are Jimmy Graham and O.J. Howard. Those are not good tight ends at all. Like, fuck. Mm, I, I give it a D-. minus. Uh, I don't <laughs> – I just because I can't, I don't want to put it as an F because I know bad franchises and bad franchise move because I was a Raiders fan and this looks a lot like an Al Davis roster. Um, I'm not gonna put it as an F. I, I'll I'll save some days. I'll put a D minus. Uh, is that a sympathy grade? It, it is a sympathy grade. Um, there's because he's got some good rookies and you know, but there's a lot of here that I just don't like. Um, for Drew Locke and C D Lamb and. Golden Tate, I'll, I'll make it a D minus, but that's all I'm giving you. I'm not giving you anything else. I'm yeah. giving an F just for Mason Rudolph. I think it's, I think it's the single worst team we've ever had in this league. Chad, what do you got here? Sorry, Jason. I, I'll give it a D just because I, I think there's a couple. Oh, you always got to one up me, don't you? You always got to one up me. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I don't really go do plus or minus. I just say D, but I mean, I, 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 I would agree. It's, it's a D spectrum team. I, there's a couple players I like. There's a lot of players I don't like, but there's a couple I like. I actually, Jared Goff for $25, he's going to be the starter. And, I mean, the, that's he's going to be a starting quarterback. So, I mean, a starting quarterback for $25, I mean, it's not terrible. There's other starting quarterbacks that aren't – I mean, Jared Goff's not great, but they're not going to have his fantasy potential that actually went for higher than Jared Goff did. Marlon Mack for $26, I'll bring that back to Alvin Kamara. Marlon Mack last year scored more fantasy points than Alvin Kamara did, and Alvin Kamara went for $55. Marlon Mack went for 26 and Frank Reich likes to run the ball. So I, I think Marlon Mack for 20, 26 is a good deal. So it's not terrible. Well, it's terrible, but it's not as terrible as what you guys said. I, I don't know, man. I, it's, it's – okay. This guy is in rebuild mode. All right, we have five more rosters to go over. Again, we're brought to you by VendettaSportsMedia.com. I'm your host, Trey Dalbert. You can find me on Twitter, Trey Dalbert. Low footed for Chad, L-A-L-F-O-T-E-D. Chicks tape pod for Alex, who 
Apparently, there's an episode coming. There's an episode coming. I got. I'm finishing editing today. It'll be out. It'll be out. Just in time for the NBA season. And uh, S Logos Fifty Two. However, it is time to go over Chad's roster here, and this is the one that starts with Jacob Eason at the top here. So best best team in the league. Let's. I start. feel like I feel Let's, like Chad should explain. Yeah, he's he's going to go first here, Chad. Let's see your explanation for your team and what grade you would give yourself. Okay, so, I mean, I, I'd give myself an A. I think this is obviously the champion. <laughs> oh, right uh, first of all, we're just going to go out here and say this. Depth, Schmepp, it's about putting, getting the best guys you can. That's, that's that right now. Uh, I have quarterbacks, Phillip Rivers, Carson Wentz. Uh, Phillip Rivers I have for $50, but I actually took uh, Philip Rivers last year in the auction and then traded him for a first-round pick halfway through the season. And then before the draft, I traded uh, Elijah well, Holyfield. We should clarify. it. Technically, you gave away Eckler, too, as part of the deal. You right, traded Eckler? Oh, okay. Well, I, w- I, w- I was tanking last year. Yes. Okay, okay. So I, I traded Philip Rivers and Austin Eckler for, uh, I think it was Kirk Cousins and Tariq Cohen. And a first round and pick. I got a and I got a first round pick back. So then, this year before the auction, I traded uh, Elijah Holyfield for a first round pick and Philip Rivers. Uh, I like Philip Rivers. I think fifty dollars might be a little bit too expensive, but I think he's going to be good with Frank Reich. Indianapolis has the best offensive line I think in in the league right now. Um, he's going to be protected. Uh, they they got a good running game in, in Indianapolis, and I, I think he's going to have time. And we saw what uh, we we saw what Tyrod Taylor did for them last year, or was yeah, it was Ty was he Jacoby Brissett or Tyrod Taylor? Whoever they uh, had a quarterback Jacoby. last year, yeah, it was Jacoby Brissett, Brissett. Yeah. and Brian Hoyer a what, little bit. Yeah, well, well, we, we saw what those <laughs> we saw what Jacoby Brissett did for him. I think Philip Rivers is going to be able to tear some defensive up defenses up. Carson Wentz best quarterback in the league and no i'm just kidding but he's a top five quarterback i think you know he's got the weapons this year little sketchy with the offensive line in my opinion for the eagles but i i think he he finally should have some weapons the off the front office went out of their way to draft guys for him uh running backs todd Gurley, 23 dollars. jordan howard 20 bucks uh i was looking for some bargain running backs i think miami's gonna be sneaky good next year i think uh I think Jordan Howard will be able to get some touchdowns. Todd Gurley, he's the uh, number one running back in Atlanta. I I think he's going to be able to run the ball. For whatever reason, um, uh, homeboy in in Los Angeles, the Rams, I can't remember their – uh, Sean McVay hated Todd, Todd Gurley for some reason, but that's not going to be a problem in Atlanta. Boston Scott I got for a buck. I think he's going to be uh, – He's going to be sneaky good for the Eagles next year. Zach Moss, I think he's going to be a touchdown stealer in Buffalo. Robbie Anderson, I, I got him in a trade with Trey. Who did I trade you for Robbie Anderson, Trey? I traded up in the rookie draft to give you Robbie uh, oh, Anderson. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, T. Higgins I took in the rookie draft. Julio Jones, he's the most consistent football uh, receiver in football. Last five years, he's been in the top, he's been in the top five uh, wide receiver fantasy-wise. DK Metcalf I took last year in the rookie draft. I, I took a shot on Jalen Rager. I think he's either going to be really good or he's going to suck. So I, I, I took the shot, $6 for him. Hunter Renfro I took last year in the rookie draft. Zach Kurtz I had from last year, uh, top five quarter or top five tight end in the league. I would say maybe the third best tight end of the league, but, you know, arguments for top five. Dad Moss I took for a buck. I think he's going to be good. I, I think, uh, well, he's like the only tight end – that's in uh, Washington right now. Uh, the football team uh, doesn't have any other options there, really. The football team. I hate that. Oh, <laughs> my God. I hate that so much. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jake, Jake Elliott, Robbie Gold, I took uh, both for a bucket kicker. So, Scott, tear them to shreds or praise them, whatever <laughs> you got here. So here's Scott. the thing. I'm I'm not going to kill you for Phil Pervers because I know the story behind it. Like, I'm not going to kill you for You know this is an A team. You know it is. Don't even, don't even try to play it. It's not. 
but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill you for Philip Rivers because you got that first round pick for it. So that that saves you a bit. All right, that saves you a bit. Jacob Eason for four dollars. That's a that's a long term move, and I kind of like it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. I'm fine with it. I can live with it. You spent big you spent big money on running backs for Todd Gurley and Jordan Howard. I just don't trust Todd Gurley's knees. I do not trust his arthritic his arthritic knee because if a running back has bad knees, he's done. Jordan Howard for twenty bucks. It's again, it's another one of those picks where I'm kind of meh about it. You paid quite a bit for him for the Dolphins. They're going to be a bad team. They're going to be actually the more I talk about it, the more I actually do not like this pick. So Jordan Howard, he's a running back on a bad team. That is just terrible for fantasy. Zach Moss for the Bills, he's a cheap running back, and Boston Scott for the Eagles, another cheap running back. Robbie Anderson, he's going to be the deep guy for the Panthers. The only issue with that is I don't trust Bridgewater to throw the ball downfield. I don't think he has the arm for it, and quite frankly, it's not what he likes to do. T. Higgins for the Bengals, there's a chance, there's a chance that he will start, and there's also a big chance that he won't start depending on how A.J. Green does. I can see him setting up long-term to be the replacement for A.J. Green. So that's the one part about T. Higgins that I like. Julio Jones from 43, that's pretty expensive, but it's Julio Jones. The only issue with him is he doesn't get a lot of touchdowns. He'll get a lot of yards and catches, but not a lot of touchdowns. I love D.K. Metcalf for $6. On the flip side, Jalen Rager for $6. With the news of Goodwin, Godwin, opting out of the season – I like that pick more, but I don't love it. Hunter Renfro for a buck, I'm fine with that. He's a slot guy for a buck. Can't really go wrong with that. Zach Gertz is a little pricey. He's a great tight end, but he's a little pricey. And for Thaddeus Moss, he is going to be the starting tight end for the Washington football team because Jeremy Sprinkle. And then as for kickers, you got two cheap kickers. I'm fine with that. I don't really see you winning the league this year. Sorry, Chad. Hate to break it to you. but That's just because you don't know fantasy football, Scott, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. All um, right. Overall, I'll give you a C. C. No. See, you're just wrong. This is okay. A so, roster, clearly. Chad, I'm going to let you know right now this is a rebuilding team, okay? And I know, things, I know a few things about rebuild. I'm a Raiders fan, okay? So, let me tell you, this is a rebuilding team, but you re- you your rebuild is going very well. Uh, Phil Rivers for fifty dollars expires next year. Uh, that's fine. Jacob Eason sign him for three years, whatever. You know, he I see him being the starter pretty soon here. Carson Wentz for forty dollars. That's a long time ago or whatever. Yesterday, I don't know. I, it wasn't this draft, so I can't really say anything. He's cheaper about than it. Brady. I'll give you credit for that. And, Car- and Carson Wentz, he's going to have a better year. Um, Todd Gurley and Jordan Howard, I will say sign them to one-year deals because that's going to be $43 you can use next year. Um, and I think you could get a lot better than Jordan Howard and Todd Gurley for $43 and more depth. Um, Zach Moss, I do like your reasoning on Zach Moss. He's going to get touchdowns for Buffalo, um, especially at the goal line. I like that. Boston Scott, $1. I mean, doesn't phase me any. T. Higgins for $4. Um I would sign him for a three-year. I think he's going to end up maybe pushing for number one after A.G. Green, whatever happens to him. Julio Jones for 43. I love that. D.K. Metcalf for $6. That's the best, probably the best value on your team. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to comment on Hunter Renfro because I don't think he's going to – he's not really relevant. Um, Jalen Rager, he maybe can step up in Philly and, you know, be really helpful. Uh, I don't know how long to sign him for. Zach Ertz for $28. I don't mind that. It's good. I mean, Zach Ertz is one of the best. The only problem I have with that is you, um, you do rave about Dallas uh, Goddard, Gooder, whatever. So if it ends up going to Dallas, then I mean, you know, if he is on a one year contract, but it, this year is a very telling time of how much to pay for Zach Ertz next year if you do want him. Uh, that Moss for $3. I love that just because, you know, with only Terry McLaurin there, uh, Dad Moss, he might, you know, he might get some uh, rapport with uh, Dwayne Haskins, and you know, he might end up being a better tight end. Um, I I don't 
I don't hate this team. Um, I, I do. I will say it's a rebuilding team, though. Um, it depends on how long you sign your guys for. I would say sign Todd Gurley and Jordan Howard for a year, and then you'll have a shit ton of money next year to, uh, you know, get some running back depth, maybe some quarterback depth. Uh, you know, maybe – I don't hate this team. I so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a B minus. I will give you a B minus. Um, just because I know it's rebuilding. I know you just joined the league. I think last year. So as far as right now, I think you have a great setup going for you. It's just you know a couple decisions. I think Alex hit the nail on the head. So I don't have to go a ton here. I I think we need to look at it as a rebuilding team, Chad. I know you don't want to do it. It's it's not know, a rebuilding I'm, team. I'm that, sorry. That, you guys that's are wrong. the that's the fire in you though. That's the I know fire you don't want you. to do I, it. I love that. Look, Alex but, knows a lot about rebuilding denial. All right. I'm, I'm just saying, you, like, my team it, last year, before I started tanking, would have made the playoffs, and it was worse than this year. Just saying. I just think anytime you go into the air and you only have two reliable running backs and one of them has bad knees, things could go very bad. But there is a chance that Gurley's good, and I think Jordan Howard I like a lot. He, I think he's very underrated this year. Julio Jones, yeah. he is what he is. Metcalf, I've been trying to get from you for uh, like three years now, even though he's only been in the league for two years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm with Alex. I'd give I'd give you a B minus. I like the fact that you get rookie picks because they're the most valuable thing you can have. But it's just – I'm not 100% certain you're going to make the playoffs with this team, Chad. I'm just – that's just and that's my, okay. And that's okay. And, it, and it's okay. I, I, like I said, I would have made the playoffs last year if I didn't trade away Phillip Rivers. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Who and cares? Austin Eckler. So, <laughs> and th- this this team is better than what I had last year, so I'm just saying. Is it? It oh, is. I mean, I don't know. Let's go you to think, the – okay, go ahead if you have anything else. I, think, I feel like Austin Eckler is better than Todd Gurley and Jordan Howard, and he's cheaper. So, dollar for dollar, pound for pound. I Te- think Austin Technically, I guess, I guess the trade was uh, – we got here two two first round picks for two first round picks and Zach Moss for Eckler. That's basically what the trade was, right, Chad? I would have took that. All right, as a take that. Team, I would have took that. I would have took that as a rebuilding team. Yeah, I I don't mind that. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. It's a, it's a good trade. Let's go to the team right next to it here. It's the roster with Nick Foles at the top again. On your screen, you should be able to see that here. Let's go to Alex. This is your Raiders fan here. Okay. What would you <laughs> give this roster? Um, let me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna talk through it, and then from there, I feel like my grade will come out. Uh, Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky combined for twenty one dollars. I don't even like the Bears quarterback situation. I feel like you could have avoided that. However, you will have a starting quarterback. I will say that. Uh, Patrick Mahomes for seventy dollars is good on you because fuck it, he's I mean best quarterback in football. Um, yes, he's fucking expensive, but you know that's what happens. Uh, ben Roethlisberger for twenty seven, and you know what? If he can you know recover well from the elbow surgery, I feel like that's not the worst thing. Jameis Winston for ten dollars, sign him for three years. Drew Brees is going to retire. I can't see the Saints giving up on Jameis Winston, so I mean he might be able to. Uh, really uh, benefit from that. Um, Saquon Bar- Barkley looks like a rookie deal, $6. I don't mind that. James Carter for $29. Oof. That's a big oof, my guy. And, I mean, I, I wouldn't have paid that much for him. Uh, I don't even know who Damian Harris is. Uh, Ronald Jones. Okay. Uh, and, and I think we got a lot of Pittsburgh on here, bud. Uh, Benny Snell. Okay. Scott Scott raved about him. Uh, yes. You got JJ. I don't like totally. that even for a dollar. Uh, Antonio Brown for a dollar. I don't. I don't hate that actually. I don't <laughs> even as a Raiders fan. I don't hate that just because who knows with Antonio Brown? He might come back one week and it could be like a playoff week and boom, okay. and he just wins. Like I mean, so he goes off for like three touchdowns. But I don't hate that actually. I really don't. Uh, Hollywood Brown for two for four dollars. I don't hate that. Looks like a rookie deal. AJ Green. Uh, I think you might have got good value for him. That's if he can stay healthy. Nineteen dollars isn't a bad. Um, it's not a bad risk. Uh, McCor- 
McCole Hardman, I don't fucking know. Five dollars, not bad. Tarek McLaurin for nine dollars. Holy shit! I commend you. That that's awesome. I love that. Uh, Denzel Mintz for a dollar. Don't hate it. Sterling Shepard for two dollars. I love that. Um, Hunter Henry thirteen. That's good. Janu Smith for four dollars. I you know what? I was really worried at the top half. Uh, at least for your running backs, I don't like your running backs at all. You just need a Josh Jacobs or something, you know, as a Raiders fan to a Raiders fan. Uh, I don't hate your quarterback group. I don't hate your wide receivers uh, and your tight ends. I, I'm going to stick with, uh, you know what, this is going to be a Raiders bias. I'm going to give him a B. I'm going to give B. Raiders fan to another B. <laughs> Scott? My one question is how the guy did this not – how the hell did this guy not max out in cap space? He has 24 I, players, and he spent $128 on quarterbacks alone. Like, he has so many just $1 flyers, like Antonio Brown, Josh Gordon, Denzel Mims, uh, Ortega Whiteside. <laughs> and, like, he had Barkley for $6. That has to be from a rookie draft. Yep. I don't get why you would willingly pay $29 for James Conner. Do it for one me. year. I would say do that for one year. Sorry. Yeah, one year at most. Why 27 for Big Ben? I don't know. Why would you touch the Bears quarterback situation? And unless you're signing Jameis Winston for 10 years, or not 10 years, fuck, three years for $10, that pick doesn't make a ton of sense. No, I think it makes a lot of sense. If you're signing him long term, yes. He's going to. Big brain. I'm I'm like telepathically telling him sign him for three years. Okay. All right. Anthony McFar, I love – he got the Steelers running back group. And I – we talked about Anthony McFarlane and Benny Snell being good sleeper picks for our Who the Fuck is That Guy series. I like those picks right there. And overall, I like this team because he's – yes, he, he paid big money up front for known players. But he drafted very well, and he's taking a lot of $1 chances on players who we have no idea what's going to happen with. I really like this team. I'm going to give it a B plus, an A minus, even. Chad, uh, honestly, I, I I'd give this team a C. Uh, ben Roethlisberger for twenty seven dollars. I did, I would have given you five dollars for Ben Roethlisberger. Fuck that guy. Non contact injury last year to this throwing arm. Fuck you, Ben Roethlisberger. You fucking dickhead. I feel uh, like there's some bias in that one. He had a bias. I'm year. not. Uh, yeah, I, I had him last year. I don't know, like context clues. I was picking up on that, but I just I wasn't sure. Uh, I I mean that I wouldn't have I would I I wouldn't have bid more than five dollars for Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, Patrick Mahomes seventy dollars. I mean that that's what you're gonna get when you're going for the the, the best. A, a former MVP and Super Bowl MVP and guy that's on everybody's brains right now. Uh, I I like the Nick Foles. I like combining that with Trubisky. I don't know if I would have went twenty-one dollars for it. I, I think that you would have just been fine taking one of them because I think Nick Foles is going to be starting by like week five anyway. Uh, Jameis Winston, I think for a guy that's not starting, ten dollars, a little bit steep. I bit him up. Uh, right. Yeah, because I, I wanted him. <laughs> uh, the running backs, I mean, you basically only have two starting running backs on your team right now. Yeah, that's which true. Which are James Conner and Saquon Barkley. I mean, one of those guys, I mean, James Conner, maybe he gets benched and the other guys, but you have two reliable running backs. Uh, wide receiver-wise, I think A.J. Green, $19. That's right about where I had A.J. Green's price because of the injury history. Uh, Nicole Hardman, $5. The running backs aren't – or the wide receivers aren't bad. Um, I think there there's some gems like Terry McLaurin, Sterling Shepard for two dollars. That's a steal. Uh, and then I, I like the tight ends, but I, I would say C. That running back group is just glaring. It's just that's what's killing it for me. I like this roster a lot. I would go B plus A minus like Scott did. He's got enough quarterback depth. Barkley's a good number one. I don't love the fact that James Conner is kind of your two with nothing really behind it. So it's not a perfect roster, but there's a lot of wide receiver depth here. I like the bounce back for AJ Green as a possibility. 
McCall Hardman, McLaurin. There's a lot of young, cheap guys here that I would sign to future contracts that'll pay off long term. So I like that part of it. Tucker's my guy at kicker. John U. Smith, you didn't mention him, Alex. I did. Surprised. Oh, maybe maybe you did. Maybe I was zoning out. But uh, I think it's a good team. Not a, uh, maybe not a super, super elite team, but I think it's a really good team. I think if he signs, you know, the expensive, like James Conner, maybe even, you know, Big Ben, uh, Mitch, and Nick Foles for like a, signs on a one year deal and then use that money for, you know, running backs and another quarterback next year, I think that would really help him out. All right, three more rosters to go. Let's get moving here. All right. Uh, cause we got He's trivia. Done. We got trivia next. Let's go to Chad here. This is the roster with Joe Burrow at the top here. It is the single roster. So it shouldn't be hard to find in your oh, Slack messages. Okay. Uh, Chad, what would you give this team as a draft grade? Uh, uh mm. This this is one I, I'm I'm gonna go with the uh, this is another one I'm gonna go with the C. I think overall Lamar Jackson at quarterback twenty six dollars that's gonna be good for him because uh, he's just gonna get points from running the ball. Uh, running back wise, I think there's some some talent there. Uh, Chris Carson. Uh, Devin Singletary, he's going to get yards. I don't think he's going to have too many touchdowns. Damian Williams, we know, opted out. Latavius Murray, I think he'll be all right. Uh, wide receiver wise, actually, the more I look at this, the actually, the more I like it. I'm actually going to go B with this roster. Um, because I, I actually like the wide receivers in this group. I think there's a lot of talent, especially some cheap talent. Cortland Sutton, Sammy Watkins, uh, Darius Slayton, uh, Kenny Galladay. I think that there's some there's some talent there. I, I like that he has Goddard for two dollars. Again, I, I even though there's the Eagles do a lot with their two tight ends, they game plan for both Goddard and Earth. So I think having Dallas Goddard's gonna be good for him. I, I actually like this team. I'm gonna go B. Scott. For quarterback, you're relying on Joe Burrow to be successful in some element. And I'm not sure if that's a safe gamble to make because that Cincinnati Bengals team is atrocious. And we talk about how that's good for quarterbacks, but it can also be bad because their offensive line fucking sucks. Joe Burrow is going to get drilled constantly in every single game. And you have Taysom Hill, who in this league, are you allowed to play him as a flex? Like, not a. Can you play two quarterbacks and Taysom Hill in your league or no? Uh, I believe you have to play him as a quarterback, but I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. All right. That, mm, for a buck, it's not terrible. And as we go down to running backs, you need Chris Carson to be healthy for this to make any sense because you spent $37 on him. You need him to be healthy to deliver. You spent $21 on Devin Singletary. I'm not sure how much I like that. Damian Williams, again, opted out. We know that. That's a big yikes. As we move into receivers, $27 for Kenny Galladay. I don't hate it. I definitely don't love it, but I'm not completely against it. He is a good receiver, and with Matthew Stafford coming back, there is potential for that to improve. He's good when we already talked about it. He's not playing, opted out. Again, that's another yikes, but it's only $4, so it's not as crucial and as crippling as Damian Williams. Moving on to DJ Moore, $5. I'm fine with that. Darius Slayton, $3. Again, I'm fine with that. Cortland Sun for 16 I like this because he is going to be the number one or number two in Denver. I put my money on number one. Uh, James Washington for 2 bucks. I'm good with that. Sammy Watkins for 8 I'm good with that. Kansas City, they're going to be throwing the ball. As we move into tight ends, he has great tight end depth, and it is very cheap tight end depth. I like this a lot. You have Dallas Goddard, who really game plans for two tight ends for both of them to produce. You have Greg Olson for $3. Depth could produce well in Seattle. Seahawks needed weapons. Greg Olson could very well be the number three target on that team for Russell Wilson. Noah Fant for the Broncos. Wasn't the and wasn't an amazing 
player as a rookie, but he was good. He was solid. And I can definitely see him improving in this year. And then we have Matt Gay as a kicker. It's a $2 kicker. Bucks, I don't think Matt Gay is going to be as good as he was last year because he's not going to be kicking the amount of extra points he was. He's not going to be kicking the amount of field goals he was last year. But overall, this is a very solid team. And he has a lot of cap space to spare and a lot of depth. That is beautiful. He has $28 remaining in cap space, and he has 23 players on the roster. I really like this team. I'll give it a B plus. Alex? I almost gave him an A-. minus. Almost. It was almost A A quality. What, do you need Josh Jacobs for it to be an A-? minus? No, it's Chris Carson for $37. Excuse me. Oh, I like this team because they got the whole Steelers running back group. Okay, relax, okay? I have not been a homer this whole episode. Now, Back to what I was saying before. I was rudely interrupted. Um, <laughs> you interrupted yourself. No, I didn't. You interrupted me. Joe Burrow for uh, for ten dollars. I don't hate that. Um, the thing, I I know why people would hate it at first, but hopefully Cincinnati does some something smart. Maybe you know. He was the Burrow. number one rookie pick, so that's yeah. the price of it. So I mean, he's you sign him for three years, and that's obvious. He'll he'll be okay. I feel like he's going to get better as the roster gets better. Um, I don't hate I, – I don't like Justin Herbert. I think he's a bust. But, I mean, it is what it is. What it is. Maybe he'll shine in L.A. I don't know. Jake Fromm, um, you could probably just sign him to a one-year deal and just leave it be because I don't think – I don't see him starting in Buffalo unless Josh Allen like, really just chokes so hard. Um, Chris Carson for thirty-seven dollars, but you can't do that. You just can't. They got a, they got a running back community over there, uh, and thirty-seven dollars for running back like Chris Carson. I just I, I don't like that. I mean, and you it's not like you didn't have money. Uh, you have twenty-eight dollars in cap space, so I feel like you could have done better than Chris Carson for thirty-seven dollars. Um, I do like uh, Latavius Murray. Um, I sometimes you know he would be on the field and be a really good contributor for a dollar. That's not bad. Um, I, I didn't finish on the quarterbacks. I'm sorry. Taysom Hill for a dollar. I love that. Lamar Jackson for $26. I mean, keep him for two more years for $26. That's good enough for me. I don't know who the hell you are. Uh, sorry. Someone just called me. And then um, Devin Singletary for $21 is a little pricey. Uh, if you can try to trade Damien Williams, because I don't think he'll be, you know, relevant. He opted out. Who's going to trade yeah. for him? Yeah, well, you know, maybe maybe somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for a pick or something. But I have Clyde. You're not been getting a pick for Damian. That's Williams. 19 dollars. But that's you'd $19. have to give up a pick to get rid of Damian. Williams. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's got to be a Philip Rivers situation. That's here. what I meant. Okay, relax. Now, Kenny Galladay for twenty seven dollars. I love that. Um, top ten wide receiver probably. If if he is the number one, I mean the the. Lions, they do have Marvin Jones, and Danny Amendola does get a lot of uh, targets too. So, Kenny Galladay is probably the number one, but, oh, my God, I just lost the fucking roster. Fucking A. Okay, I got it. Uh, and then, so, Marquise Goodwin opted out. Don't care. DJ Moore, um, if the hype's really real for $5 this year, that's good. Uh, Darius Slayton, love that for $3. Corden Sonnen, best wide receiver in Denver. At sixteen dollars, I love that. Um, I love this roster except for Chris Carson. Um, I, I really do. So Sammy Watkins, you know, I think he's still isn't he still like really young? Like he's not that old, is he? I don't know. I don't think he's that old. But Noah Fant, three dollars, fine. Dallas, two dollars for one more year until uh, Chad gets him next year. That's fine. Uh, Tyler Higby for eight dollars. I it's okay. I don't like it. Don't love it. Tyler Higby, it's kind of unproven, and everyone's all high on him. So $8 is a little expensive. Greg Olson for $3 is not bad. Um, I, I really don't hate this roster. I think it has a lot of potential to be good in the next coming years. Uh, I would say I would say B plus, but A minus, no A minus because of Chris Carson. I would give it a C based on the fact that he has free agent money. But with this current roster, I don't think he can really compete here. I think he's building a roster. Free agent money is what really upped his grade for me. Yeah, because Chris Carson for 37 to be your RB1 is too much. Yeah. For Devin Singletary, 21 to be your RB2 is probably too much. 
the wide receivers, the top three, Galladay, DJ Moore, and Cortland Sutton should pan out. But while the tight end room is cheap, you have to make decisions every single week. Who the hell do you start there every week? And unless Noah Fant is just unbelievable, you're not talking about, you know, a guy that's killing it for you. So I would give it a C here. Uh, and also what we're going to do is I'm going to put this roster on the screen here in case we don't get to it because we're not doing another roster. And because we have eight minutes on the zoom call, we're not doing another zoom call. So we're going to go, <laughs> we're going to go to my team. And if we get to this last roster again, it's on your screen right now. Uh, we'll get to it. So we'll go to my team here. It is the roster that starts with Trey Lance. I'll start here because you guys have been taking up all the airtime. Okay. All right. Giving it to us. So. Here, here's what I got here. I think this may be my best team of all time here. I'm excited. Excited like hell. There's not a single team out there that's got four starting quarterbacks, except for this one. Josh Allen and Deshaun Watson will be my starters on a primary basis. Two for a buck for three years. Sign me up. Yeah. Dwayne Haskins is just going to be trade bait. When somebody, when a quarterback gets hurt, you know he's. I'm going to trade him, and I'm going to get more than I should, and I can't wait for it to happen. Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, one-two punch right there. K-Makers will probably be the consistent flex guy, but we'll see. Alexander Madison, in case something happens to Cook, too. Devontae Adams, I just wanted to start receiver. Not quite sure about uh the receiver depth here but it's more of a trade deadline move anyway for me uh we'll see about brandon cooks if he, he can rebound i'm excited about deontay johnson for four i think i'm gonna lock him up for three years mark andrews was great for me last year for a buck uh kicker wise so alex grill me what do we got okay here? uh love josh allen love to love Deshaun watson dwayne haskins is good um i i can't really complain about your quarterback group. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much sold on all those uh, running backs. I do like Christian McCaffrey, of course. Dalvin Cook. I mean, you got two, probably top, top five running backs. And then you know, if uh, what's his face, Chris Carson goes down, you have Carlos Hyde for a dollar. Love that. Um, Cam Akers for seven. That's I love that. Devontae Adams for forty five for a top three, top four wide receiver. Awesome. Um, Brandon Cooks, and I'm like, eh. Uh, Deontay Johnson for four dollars. I love that. Debo, if he comes back, he's coming back. But that's that's pretty good too. Um, your tight ends, awesome. One dollar for Dawson Knox. I felt like a lot of people don't think he's going to be as good as, but he's going to be pretty good. Um, I think it's a really good roster. Uh, wide receiver depth is probably where you just need some. Uh, some help, but that's for next year. As far as starters and stuff, I think it's a really solid team. I think A plus. A plus. Shit. Damn. Yeah, Chad, I, what would you give me? I mean, come on. He's got Christian McCaffrey. He's got Deshaun Watson. He's got Dalvin Cook. I mean, those Devontae. That's four top five players in their respective positions. How can I hate that? I can't. That's uh, gonna give you uh, an F. <laughs> no, actually, I I I had a. I had it graded as an A too. Yeah. Uh, I like the quarterbacks, like the running backs. I people keep harping on the Debo Samuel thing, like he might miss week one. He might miss like three weeks, and that's it. No, that's like it. they said it. They they said it was a ten week injury. He might oh, okay. miss week one. Might oh, okay. miss. Like, why are we still hung up on Debo Samuel possibly missing one out of seventeen weeks this season? Like, that's true. Like, I'm not worried about that at all. So, I mean, yeah, you could use more more wide receivers. I, I think the more wide receivers are usually the better wide receivers. But, um, you know, again, I'm not not hurting over Debo Samuel missing a week. Uh, tight ends, Mark Andrews was good last year, so you should be fine there. Uh, Dawson Knox, I was actually thinking about picking him up at some point in free agency last year, but I ultimately didn't because I only had like a dollar in free agent money and I needed it for a wide receiver. Uh, so I, I like your team, Trey. A, A, the only other A, my team and yours, both A's. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Scott, I just love this team because you drafted so well with Josh Allen with Game Two for a buck. 
you drafted so well that you were able to splurge and spend 65 on McCaffrey, 50 on Watson, 45 on Adams. Like you set yourself up in a perfect position to make these moves and construct a great roster. And I love Deontay Johnson because he's probably the best wide receiver on that Pittsburgh Steelers team. And you gone for four bucks when Juju Smith-Schuster went for 25. Like, like we keep talking about how you may need a better receiver. That's, this is a great receiver core, receiving core. And it's very cheap outside of Von, Devontae Adams, but you needed to spend that money because what's the point of sitting on salary cap after the draft or throughout the auction? There's no real point of doing it unless you need free agents. And you still have cap room left over. Like, this is just a phenomenal team, A+. plus. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I'm excited. This, this I'm ready shouldn't for be legal. Again. This I'm shouldn't be legal. Too. This kind of team should not be allowed. This is the point that I try to make with all of you every single year. You can build this kind of a team in an auction league. You just have to have some brains behind it. Well, then I'm out. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> like what? that doesn't do me any good. You said you got to be smart. Oh, God. Well, Actually, I'll edit this in quick here. We got three minutes on a Zoom call. I'm not doing another one. So uh, the roster next to mine, just how about a rapid fire response here? I'll give this team a D. Le'Veon Bell, disgusting. I like Raheem Mostert. That's the only thing I like about it. Mayfield, Tannehill, your only two quarterbacks. Blah. Uh, Michael Thomas is good, but receiver depth, Corey Davis, it's terrible. Ebron, can't count on him. D. Chad, quick. I, I, I go C just because I think everything about this team is average. I think the quarterbacks are going to be average. Running backs are just going to be average. The wide receivers are just going to be average. I think, actually, the only place he's not average is probably kicker, but C. Scott, quick. I'm going D. You're spending way too much money on Le'Veon Bell and Raheem Mostert. You're spending 21 for Bell and 25 for Mostert. That's disgusting. You willingly you spent 21 on Tannehill, which last year was a major outlier compared to the rest of his career. You have 25 for Baker Mayfield. I'm not going to kill him for luck because that was a big surprise. I'm not going to kill him for that. Quick, quick. Look, D, just too much money. You don't have the depth. Quarterback stink. D. Alex. C minus. C minus. I'm putting a C minus. Okay. Uh, that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. VendettaSportsMedia.com. Check out the store. Buy a shirt. And, Check the uh, Twitch. Hit the subscribe button. Check out the Twitch. Uh, Scott's starting it up. Until next time, we'll see you soon.